What's up guys? Another Smashworks day. Guess what we're talking about today? Low back pain. Anybody ever tweak their low back? Yeah, it's super crappy. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to be talking about how to unlock that low back. Super easy way, super fast way, and I bet some stuff you never even thought of. Super important stuff. So by the way, check this out. Live sore. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thanks for the shirt. I love it. So they're ripping out some pretty heavy back squats over there. So I'll try and keep it a little quiet. But low back pain, so think about it. When you get a low back tweak, most people go where? Right to the low back. Except the problem is nine out of 10 times, it's not the low back. It's all the surrounding stuff that's incapacitating the low back's ability to move properly or it's an imbalance and you have an asymmetry. And that's an even worse part because, good. Yeah, let me get down here. See, get in the comfortable position. But that's the even worse part because what happens is if you're asymmetrical, you wind up driving up out of the hole in a squat with a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of swagger in it, but that's not good. That's not gonna help anything. What that's gonna do is it's gonna put more pressure on one side. You're gonna engage and recruit the psoas to brace the spine, the abdominals to brace the core, a lot more on one side than on the other, and you're gonna drive out with the glutes, or if you're quad dominant, you start pushing with the quads, which we don't do for our squats, you're gonna wind up shearing a whole bunch of that or dumping a whole bunch of that force out of the hip and shearing that knee. So you're gonna have all these issues that are gonna affect the knee and the low back. So I'm gonna show you how to unglue that glute, unglue that high hip. I got a friend of mine right around the corner here. You can't see him because I'm not gonna turn the camera, but he's hitting a high hip right now. And then here's something that most people don't do, the guts. All this viscera in here gets all glued down. Don't worry about the intestines and all that. We're not shoving a lacrosse ball in here. Don't worry about that. But we're gonna use this. This is a slam ball. It's like 800 pounds. That's how strong I am, I can just move it like that. No, you're gonna take a slam ball and we're gonna just mash away, we're gonna mash away the, uh, the guts and we're gonna clear out all four quadrants because what happens is all this stuff gets super ropey and all glued down and it's untouched almost all the time. You wanna get rid of a lot of low back pain, let your abdomen move freely the way it's supposed to so your core can support itself and that back doesn't get dragged forward because what happens too is that lumbar spine gets dragged forward and then everything starts to shear in the low back, discs get sheared, um, the quadratus lumborum starts to fire, the pelvis dumps forward, and then when you drop into a squat, it dumps the other direction, you get a really funky butt wing. So all the mechanics get really jacked up. So there's a lot going on. I know, blah, 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 a lot of stuff. So first things first, we're gonna grab our trusty lacrosse ball. Let me move that. It's heavier than it looks, trust me. We're gonna take this, we're gonna get it to a figure four, and then we're gonna smash out that high hip. This is really unpleasant. Part of me doesn't wanna do it but my low back hurts. So you wanna band up because this is gonna drag the femur into the posterior portion of the capsule, remember? Or posterior portion of the joint, back of that acetabulum. So when it sits on the anterior portion, it rides around on that labrum, it just beats the hell out of it. Shove it into the back of the acetabulum, it's super, super stable and super tough. And that's how it's designed to be. If this snaps me in the head though, by the way. See, can you see that? No, you can't. Oh, good thing I gotta move the camera. Almost did a little ninja roll there. So what you wanna do, is band up. Oh God, I don't want to do this. This is going to be awful. So, oh yeah, I am sore and beat up. So you're going to band up. So now I'm in a banded figure four, but we're going to take the lacrosse ball and we're going to take it and we're going to tuck it underneath all this stuff in here. This is going to be ropey. Now stay high on the hip because if you go low, you wind up hitting the, uh, the uh, sciatic nerve. So don't do that. So banded figure four, we're loading up all the glutes and then we're just gonna grind away and smash away on all that stuff. Oh, it's so awful. You know how long we do this? Yeah, we do this for two minutes. That's number one. Number two is, super easy, same position, lay back, and same thing, banded figure four, but now we're gonna do a rotation to clear out the front of that hip, mostly that TFL, and again, unload that high hip. So we're just gonna take this, roll all the way to the one side. How long do we hang out? Two minutes, baby. That's number two. Oh, this is some fun stuff. This is good stuff. I love this. Good. Number three, take this 800 pound slam ball. This is where it gets a little fun. This is the part most people miss. You got a back tweak, hit the guts. I kid you not. And you're just gonna get on over this thing. So you got four quadrants, remember? Two upper, two lower. You wanna hit all four, and you're gonna do what's called a contract relax. So you're just gonna get on this thing, go on the lower first. Make sure you stay off the pelvis. Don't use a kettlebell for this. Good, and just hang out. I would lay all the way over it just like this, and then contract, whoop, 
and relax. And let that just mash in there, contract and relax. Do this for how long? About two minutes a quadrant. This one will take some time, but I promise you this, you get up off the floor, you're gonna feel a thousand times better. What is that, number, uh, number three. Last one, super easy. We got the rig. All you're gonna do is you're gonna unload that posterior chain. So you're gonna hit the hamstring, the glutes, all at the same time, just by kicking up on the rig. So you're gonna get beside the rig. You can use a door jam, it doesn't matter, whatever you want. Kick up on the rig. Dorsal flex the foot, so that means all the way this way. Make sure your glutes and your low back are all the way down. So if you're like this, you already got some mobility issues. So just shove yourself down. This is where gravity is your friend. And just hang out. How long? Two minutes. You're going to hit the post of your chains. So you're going to wind up hitting the low back, the glutes, the calf, and everything else all down the back of the leg. And just hang out. Two minutes, baby. That's it. Super easy. Super funky. Hey, that's how you get rid of low back pain. Just like that. I'm Trev, Smashworks. Check you guys out tomorrow.